you can scroll to the right to see the app list. You have the usual suspects as seen here. Swipe down from the top to bring up the menu. Then you can press the home button on the far left to exit CarPlay, or you could use the task switcher which is right next to it, and I'll explain that next. Another thing I want to cover is the app switcher. If you press the icon on the top next to the home button, that will bring up the app switcher. You can then scroll through the list to choose a running app or to close any that you don't need to run anymore. For example, I'll choose the Android settings app and then press. And as I mentioned before, press the home button to go back to the main HVAC screen. On the main HVAC screen, swipe down from the top to bring up controls and brightness. These are quick access buttons to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, car settings, sound settings, system optimize, and closed screen. On the top is a slider that goes from full brightness on the right to low brightness on the left. In the beginning, you saw a door alert window. Anytime a door is open, this window will appear overlaid on the screen. The text above it will explicitly state which doors are open, as does the car diagram below it. Then you can click on the X to close that window. Here is an example of when the car switches from day mode to night mode. The rear screen automatically does the same and matches the look of the main Tesla display. Another thing that would be good is to have the brightness to be able to be turned even lower than the current slider allows. For example, at night, it would be nice to have it even less bright. The quick controls when you swipe from the top does give you a unique option that I just found. Choose the close screen and it will turn off the screen display. Press anywhere on the screen to turn it back on. I was curious about using Bluetooth headphones. I did get a pair of Bluetooth earbuds to pair with the Car BT 